And you mentioned lawlessness, which I, I, I done, I've done series on that for many, many years, that, that iniquity will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Put that into focus for us. Tell us what because, you see in a, lawless, in a lawless world. Tell me what is lawlessness according to the scripture. Well, it, it, when he talks about the beginning of sorrows, he lists three things up front. He said, many will be offended, they'll betray one another, and then he goes on to say they will hate one another. And he adds some deception in there as one of the signs. And then he said, and because iniquity, and the word iniquity there is the word anomia, which means without law. Because there they will be without law, uh, the love of many will grow cold. And one of the statements that I used many years ago, it's been many years ago, that the opposite of love is not hate, it's lawlessness. Because the foundation of law is love. Romans 13 tells us that uh, when we don't commit adultery, when we don't steal, when we don't uh, do uh, bear false witness, he goes down the list, he yeah. said, we fulfill the law of love. That, that God's law is the law, of, is not really like the Old Testament law it is, yeah. but it's founded on love. So love is not what I do for you, it's what I won't do to you. And that's what people don't always, they don't always measure. They think, well, I've done this. Say that again. You. Say that again. That is profound. Listen, folks. Love, love, love is not, love is not a matter of what I do for you. It's what I won't do to you. God. And that's oh, the way that's God powerful. laid it out. He did that, that way back, way back in the Old Testament. He says, "You shall not commit adultery. You you shall not steal." And he goes down the list of the shall, "Thou shall not." He was saying, "Look." It's this is what I won't do to you. So it set boundaries. You know, there's freedom in that. So you know where not to go, but I can go yeah. all these other places. Just don't yeah. go here. 